Hi, in this lab, we will set up filtering rules for two business locations that are represented by router 1 and router 3. Management has established some access policies between the lands located at the two routers, which we must implement. The edge router is of the ISP, and there's no ACLs on it. Now, we move on to part one, verify the connectivity. Firstly, we will ping from PCA on the this network, I call it the 10 network, to PCC and PCD which is simply on the 30 and 40 network. So I use a simple PDU and click on PCA, PCC, it's failed the first packet the second one successful from PCA to VCD fail the first packet and on the second it's okay so the ping are successful from router 1 ping PCC and PCD router 1 We get the IP address 30.3. So the pings are successful. PCD, PCD 40.3. The pins are successful from PCC, pin PCA and PCB. C, pin PCA, successful. From C, pin B. Pin B, successful. And from uh, router 3, Ping PCA and PCB. Router 3, ping PCA. Successful. And router 3, ping PCB. Successful. So all the PCs are okay. The PC ping the server. I can ping PCA to the server here. Fail the first packet. The second one. Fail. The third one. Fail. PCA. And the fourth. It's fail. From PCB into the server. Fail. Fail. And from C in fail. C. And from D to the server, fail, D, so it's fail. So all the PC cannot ping the server at this IP address. Now we move on to part 2, configure and verify standard number and name ACLs. Step 1, configure a number standard ACL. And uh, for the first ACL in this lab, we will create a standard number ACL that allow traffic from the 10 network and the 20 network to access own host on the 30 network. And this uh, access list also states that an explicit deny any access control entry uh, and also uh, referred to as an ACL statement should be uh, present at the end of own ACL. So on, uh, so we should create the ACL uh, on router three because the standard ACL should be configured and applied 
as close to the destination as possible. So we will get on router 3 and apply on the outbound direction on the gigabit 0, 0, 0. Is number one and remark. We have a remark allow router one lab asset. And then we create a list one we permit the network, the ten network. 10 dot 0 with the Y card and then we permit 20 network and we create the explicit deny uh, deny any deny any at the end of this ACL Oh, sorry, ACR one deny any, and then we will apply interface on the gigabit zero 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 IP access group one out. Now we verify the asset list that we have just created so asset list 1 there are two ACE or ACL statement the first uh, range of IP address on the router 1 LAN and the second one are the 10 and 20 network and the deny uh, explicit deny any at the end of the ACL and now we verify that uh, these asset list are applied or uh, it's applied on the uh, gigabit Ethernet interface by show IP interface gigabit zero zero so where the asset list outgoing asset list here is one now we test the ping from BCA to BCC successful and from BCB to BCC it's successful too but now we ping from BCD to BCC it's failed the second one it's failed because the isolate will block any other uh, packet that are not originate from 10 and 20 network now we test pin from router 1 to BCC to check for the result so it's failed the second one is failed so why it's failed uh, because uh, that uh, pin packet will get the source address of the serial interface on router 1 so let's check for the simulation here you see the ICMP ICMP here we edit filters and then we choose the ICMP and we see the ICMP that is uh, originate from router 1 and here is the IP header source IP address it's the IP address of the serial interface on router 1 so when this packet travels through the network to the 
The 30 network here, it should be blocked by router 3 access leads because the access leads allow only the 10 and 20 uh, network packet from 10 and 20 network. Now we turn back to the real time and on uh, router 1 or oh, on router 3 we enter the command show accelerate 1 and then you can see the 70 much and uh, for the two uh, ACE or statements here we for the first one we get 21 much and the second one we get 16 matches. Now on step 2, we will configure a name standard ACL. This ACL uh, allow traffic from own host on the 4T network here. Access to own host on the 10 network here. Also only allow host PCC access the 10 network. And the name of the assembly should be called the branch office policy. So now we will uh, uh, create the, the assembly. So because the destination is a 10 network, so we should create the ACL on router 1 and apply that ACL to the outbound direction on the gigabit zero 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 on this router so now I enter router one and then I create the name standard I isolate by using IP isolate standard and I copy the name Paste here. The first statement is permit host permit PCC to accept this network. And then we permit the network 40 40 and the white card so why we place uh, this statement below the this statement because we need to place uh, the detail statement first and then we permit uh, when we place uh, a general uh, statement uh, below the detailed statement so, so remember the, that rule so there's a question look at the first ACE in the asset list what is another way to write it we can write uh, uh, we can uh, another way to write the first ACE is permit one two nine one six eight dot thirty dot three and we use a white card mask Like this. Now we delete this one. Okay, so now we apply this ACL to the gigabit is uh, net zero zero on router one. IP access. Now, direction. 
Now we will verify by show to show or send it. And here the question is there any difference between the ACL on route 1 and the ACL on route 3? The difference is that there is no deny any at the end of the ACL, but there is implicit deny any at the end of this ACL. On route 3, we create the we create the explicit deny any at the end of the ACL. But when we don't create that ACE, so we also have the implicit deny any at the end of the ACL. Now we will verify the apply on the interface do so interface IP interface geo so we get the outgoing access list branch office policy Next, we test the ACL to ensure that only PCC is allowed to accept the 10 network. And we can do an extend ping and use a gigabit 000 and address on router 3 as the source. Okay, so now I can I, uh, ping from PCC to PCA. So it's successful. And from PCD to PCA, successful, but from PCB to the PCA, it's failed. Now on router 3, we pin and pin the target IP. Standard command, yes. The source address interface. And we uh, set the default. So the result is the success rate is 0%. And here is the symbol of unsuccess print because the source address. It's 30.1, not 30.3. Only host 30.3 is allowed to access to the 10 network. Okay, next on uh, part 3. I think it's a uh, party modify a uh, standard ACL. I think it's your job to complete this part. And there is a guideline very detailed here. And after that, you should uh, answer the question. So I think it's better for you to uh, finish part 3 and answer the question. So thank you for your watching.